What does the commitment of Thomas Fedoni to Nebraska really mean? It means Nebraska finally gets a, a big, tall, athletic, really good-looking tight end uh, to fit in Scott Frost's system. And for that matter, offensive coordinator Lubick's new system, uh, Fedoni brings – a lot to the table. He's an exceptional athlete. He can run, he can jump, he has soft hands, great footwork and concentration to make plays on the sideline or the boundary. Uh, he's a leaper. Uh, he, he's a basketball player too and, and can really go up and get a ball. So a, a prime red zone target. Uh, Nebraska will use him in a variety of different ways. He's extremely versatile and Nebraska will use him on the outside. Uh, uh, to create mismatch problems with corners. Uh, they'll use him in the slot. They'll use him maybe as kind of an H back or Y. Um, they'll also use him as an inline blocker. At six foot six, 225 pounds, he could easily be 240 uh, to 250. He could gain some weight in a couple of years, or he could stay about 225, 230 and kind of play a little bit of receiver. Uh, he is your prototypical hybrid tight end that every school is looking for right now, and that is super popular in the NFL. Um, his his coaches rave about him. Coach Camrad raves about him and his work, work ethic. He also has an extremely strong relationship with Nebraska. Part of the reason why he committed to Nebraska was his relationship with Sean Becton and the, the tight end coach Sean Becton. He believes that – Sean Becton can get him uh, to the next level, which is the NFL. He liked, really liked what Becton did with the tight ends at, at UCF and likes what they're trying to do now with the tight ends at Nebraska. But honestly, Fedoni is a different level. He's a, he's a, a different level of tight end. He's a tight end that Nebraska hasn't seen in ever, really, probably. <laughs> so um, if, if, if it has been, it's been a very long time. He's, he is phenomenal, and there's a reason why he has as much hype as he does. There's a reason why he is as rated as highly as he is, number two, number three tight end in the country, a four-star, probably going to be a five-star uh, shortly, and, and Nebraska doesn't get those very often. Marlon Lucky was the last one. So what Fedoni brings and what he's going to bring to the table is an immediate impact player, and Nebraska is fortunate that they secured that commitment over the likes of LSU and Iowa, where his final kind of three, LSU just won a national championship, used the tight end extremely well in Joe Brady's offense. And Iowa's tight end U. And recently, Noah Fant, um, TJ Hawkinson, uh, the list goes on and on of Iowa tight ends. So Nebraska did a, a great job securing that commitment. And they probably got a little lucky uh, not – having in-person recruiting or the suspension of in-person recruiting really affected things, I think. Um, he wasn't able to go take visits to LSU or Alabama who offered or Georgia or Penn State or Michigan. Um, he had 36 total scholarship offers from power conference schools. That's amazing. Uh, that number just pops off your head. And he wasn't able to visit really any of them. He was only a, he only took unofficial visits to uh, Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska, and Iowa and Nebraska multiple times, um, over five, six, seven times each uh, for different events or games or Friday Night Lights camps, stuff like that. So. Um, Really a, a coup or a, a big win for Nebraska in, in recruiting. They finally break into Lewis Central, who's had, uh, you know, a nice run of talent here and has some more on the way. So uh, maybe that relationship will help as well.